the universe began. Folks, this is a huge discovery in science. The universe has a beginning. In fact, scientists tell us physicists 13.7 billion years ago, the universe began. If Dr. Carl Sagan were only here, because as many of you know, Dr. Carl Sagan used to hold to eternal matter or an eternal universe that expands and contracts and expands and contracts. Guess what? His theory has been exploded with these scientific discoveries. No, the universe hasn't expanded and contracted. It has a beginning 13.7 billion years ago. Now catch this. Science, you know what in essence is happening, is science is pointing the way now to the existence of God, and this is why. If we know that the universe, mass, energy, has a beginning, think about this. Physicists will agree with us here. Let's just take energy. Energy has a beginning point. If, as Einstein's theory of relativity tells us, energy is just number, another form of matter. Matter is another form of energy. They are relative to each other. Amen? Theory of relativity. You know what else is relative? E equals mc squared. Energy is relative to mass, which is relative to velocity, which is then relative to time and relative to space. See, if there was a time, if you will, if we go back all the way 13.7 billion years ago when there was no energy, guess what? There was no matter. Well, if there's no energy and no matter, there's no time. Why? Time is the measurement of the motion of matter. Amen? There's no velocity because there's no stuff moving around. Amen? Amen? And there's no space because what is space? Space is where we have matter in relative positions to each other. So science has pointed to the fact that about 13.7 billion years ago there was no energy, no matter, no time, no space. What does that tell you? Somebody kick-started this thing. Amen? Amen. And whoever it was kick-started it. He's not material. Amen? Amen? He's not in time. He's not in space. And you know what else? Here's a little, uh, a, a little whammy for you. He would have to be infinite in power. You know why? Because it requires infinite power. Didn't we already say it? It requires infinite power to bring something from nothing. Amen? Amen? This is science pointing us to, pointing in the direction and screaming loudly, guess what? There's a God, folks. 